and future plans for the exploration and exploitation of space during the next two decades. Dr. Griffin. Thank you. Um, at the top level, I would quote uh, U.S. Presidential Science Advisor, uh, Dr. Jack Marburger, in his comment uh, about a year and a half ago in a speech to the uh, uh, Goddard Space Conference in March of 2006, Dr. Marburger pointed out that in the end, the uh, questions about the vision for space exploration come down to whether we want to incorporate the solar system into our economic sphere or not. I think we do. And so the vision for space exploration is about the next step beyond the International Space Station, where 15 of our partners are, in fact, engaged in building a toehold for humanity above the Earth's atmosphere. We will learn from that how to go beyond, first back to the moon, and to stay there for a substantial length of time, and then on to Mars. And in the process, which will be very slow, uh, we will build the civilization of tomorrow and the tomorrow after that. It is only in that way that human beings will expand out beyond the Earth and into the cosmos. There will be many small steps, but when we look back across 50 years, as we are doing this year, or 100 years, we will look back and see how far we have come. When this conference meets in 2057, I am convinced that it will be able to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the first human landing on Mars, and I'm convinced that when we do, it will carry representatives of many of the member nations here today. Thank you. Thank you. It's very encouraging. And, uh... <laughs>